And we are back in. <laughs> once, once again, here with yet another Pokemon related video. video. And Pokemon I am, of theory. course, joined by my boy, House Top. Alright? And, as always, we bring you some more Pokemon greatness. Now, to the premise of this video is to go over a recent video that has everyone in shock. The possibility, the high chances of Pokemon coming to an end. Now, shout out Loxon and Noggin. Y'all are some geniuses. Loxon especially, but let's just... It blew my mind. It, it was the greatest video ever. It freaked Easily. out and the whole world went into an eruption. Okay, this changed the way everyone has thought about Pokemon. Pokemon just may be the most deepest stuff you'll ever see in your life. And right now, we're just gonna go over and highlight some of the stuff from this video and then kind of speculate and predict what I got for the future of Pokemon. So go ahead, let, it, let them have it. So basically, everything revolves around alchemy, Hinduism, Norse mythology, yeah. and Solgaleo being the main legendary for Pokemon Sun is based off of the lion eating the sun, which in alchemy represents the purification of metal or steel, which is why he is represented as a steel psychic instead of like a fire, right. whatever. The Mele Mele Island, which is Hawaiian for yellow? Yes. It's one of so four. Yeah, one of four islands. Speculating that there's going to be a red, blue, and green island. Hopefully. Hopefully. Then we have the X and Y legendaries tying in with the four Hawaiian gods. We have Sogaleo and Lunala tying in with two of them. And then Yvertal and Xerneas being the other two. He also then went on to highlight that Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire have the Omega Crystals inside of the Pokemon logos. And in Sun and Moon, they have what look like revives, almost in, they're like crystal, they're the same shape, the, the diamond shape, in the logos form as well. So what, he talked a lot about how Anastar City had the sundial, and how it looks like it's in the shape of Diancie, and then the golden rings, which are also speculation that it involves Hoopa, and then if you stand at the edge of the, like the railing next to the sundial, that you can see off in the distance what looks to be four islands. Like you're looking through <laughs> one of Hoopa's rings into the Alola region. Which, that's just... Keep going. No, that's just... <laughs> the map of the Alola region also shows that the main or the biggest island in the Alola region has a observatory, which is also one of the biggest things that Hawaii is known for. And then he goes on to talk about how the three starters Poplio, Litten, Rolette, and then the new uh, dog, I'm assuming it's a dog, the yeah. new dog Pokemon that was revealed in the Koro Koro magazine, uh, Iwanko, represent different alchemic symbols, having um, Poplio as water or mercury, Litten as fire or sulfur, Rolette as salt or the earth for the grass type, and then Iwanko as lead, which lead is often turned into gold in alchemy. He then goes on to talk about Azoth, and Azoth is one, probably one of the biggest points and one of the largest topics in his video. It is described as, Azoth is in all of us. It drives us to spiritual and physical perfection. Um, it's described as the life energy in Pokemon. It is also used in any and all transmutation. He described it as what Mega Evolution is, is these Pokemon are obtaining the Azoth through the Mega Evolution Stone. Cool. That is what is causing them to mega evolve, is they're being pushed to their almost absolute physical form, like their perfect form, like perfect self kind of stuff. Um, Azoth is then also a ancient civilization where the Pokemon Magirna was created, and Magirna is said to also possibly have the Philosopher's Stone inside of her, or it. Project Azoth is also mentioned in the Delta episodes of 
Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in the end when you're going into the space station and you're going in, you can read the books, and it's also it's mentioned in one of the books. He then goes on to also describe all the possible battles that might happen, such as between Solgaleo and ho being ho -Oh being the phoenix, which is also a huge symbol in alchemy, and you know, Solgaleo being like the main antagonist or protagonist in Sun and Moon. And then Lunala versus Lugia possibility because of the moon and the oceans having such a big tie together. And then I was also thinking that maybe Kyogre and Groudon have something to do with this as well being that they both have to do with the land and the sea. Also, they are both red and blue, sun and moon, you know, Luya, Ho Ho, it's all, it's, it's all coming together. It's, it, this game is gonna be the greatest Pokemon game ever made. Now, you did but, just say it's all coming together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now you guys have a lot of stuff here. You have reason to go and watch this whole video. So go check their video Which out. Which you need to. You, you definitely need to. But, one more thing I want to pull from this video. Well, it's not really from the video, but just a generic yeah. phrase that has been a huge part of alchemy and such. And that is, it is finished when seven become one. You know, seven, that's a really, really funny number. What is seven? <laughs> now, let me just, let me just take a second, all right? Okay. He also mentions, and this is actually a really good point that adds on to all of this, that, you know, the point of it being that this is a possible end to all of, you know, Pokemon as we know it, like, this is, like, the last games, right? 20 years we've been playing basically the same way for these Pokemon yeah. traditional games. So, that goes on to, for us to further believe that if they do reboot Pokemon, who's to say that they don't just start it all in one? Now let me ask you this, how many colors are in the rainbow? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> no! No! When they reboot Pokemon, <laughs> it will be rainbow version. Think about it. Seven, when the seven one. come one. In one game. In one game. And you know what? We might just... Th there might be a, an actual reason as to why we've been playing the same type of style for 20 years. Yeah. I mean, well, like 18 for America, but yeah. you know. But that's besides the point. We have the traditional RPG. A lot of Nintendo's games have been rebooted and... Like, basically... Like every game. Yeah, like, and redone. Like, you, you will never play the same type of Mario game as you would back in... The 90s versus mm -hmm. now. Same with Zelda. That's why they, they never make more than like two versions of the same Mario game. Like, I think Galaxy is the only one to have two. I right. think, yeah. And here we have Pokemon. Obviously, there's things like Mystery Dungeon and Ranger, Just but those games are spin off games. Those are not true to the canonical Pokemon universe. Mm -hmm. okay. And here we have the perfect opportunity. Loxton just opened the world eyes as to how deep Pokemon really is and the fact that this could very well be, guaranteed be, the end, 20th anniversary, all the, the, the seven become one. And what's the number one fan requested game that everyone's wanted? Rainbow. The Rainbow. Any thoughts? I don't have thoughts. It's just my mind. My mind is blown. And I will actually give. I will give a shout out to my brother, who's actually trying not to freak <laughs> out in the background right now. He actually, when we first watched, finished watching this video, he actually, we were really going back and forth, like dot, like hitting ideas off of each other, and then he asks me, "How many colors are in the rainbow?" Just like I asked you. And as soon as I said seven, he fell on the floor. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments below. You know, if you're if you're on the floor as well after this, uh, let us know if you think hey, rainbow, rainbow. I mean, does it not make sense? It does. It's time for the change. It's time for this reboot. Maybe they could do Pokemon Go Rainbow, where I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if if they, I don't I don't think they would, but if literally Pokemon Go became the new game and and they ported it to the NX. Because the NX is supposed to be a portable home console as well as 
a mobile console. So you're playing, well, people look stupid walking around with the NX, but like, everywhere. It's just too much. Too much. Goodbye.